How Microsoft became a successful software company. Started just a simple shop of computers, Microsoft became the world's most dominating company and continued as the world's largest company for decades. And there wasn't even a company that was its rival for a long time. So how did it reach that position? And what was the secret behind Microsoft's enormous success? Well, let's find out everything together. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Success Stories. Today, we are talking about the hidden secret behind the success of Microsoft. So stick with our video and watch to the end so you know everything about it. Let's begin with this mountain of knowledge. The 4th of April, 1975 marked the beginning of Microsoft's existence as a company. Microsoft is an American global computer technology enterprise. Microsoft is now the most successful software firm in the world. It was founded by Bill Gates, who dropped out of Harvard College, and his boyhood buddy Paul Allen. It is regarded as one of the most valuable corporations in the whole globe. Microsoft was formed in 1977, and it rose to prominence in 1981 when IBM released its personal computer, which used Microsoft's DOS operating system. In 1985, Microsoft released the first version of Windows. A few years later, in 1988, the business launched the first accessibility assistance package for Windows by merging work produced at the University of Wisconsin's Trace Center, a research and development center on accessible technology. The program, known at the time as Access Utility for Windows 2.0, improved Windows accessibility for people who are deaf, hard of hearing, or have limited dexterity by allowing changes in the use of the keyboard and mouse, providing visual alerts for the computer sounds, and allowing users to operate the computer through devices connected to the serial port. Microsoft created a full-time accessibility job in 1992. Greg Lowney oversaw the accessibility work for many years. So what led to Microsoft's phenomenal amount of success? Let's find out. Microsoft is actively involved in the process of generating a wide variety of software products and services, licensing those products, and providing support for those products. The year 2000 saw the appointment of Steve Ballmer as the new chief executive officer of Microsoft. Before Bill Gates left Harvard University, he had a chance encounter with Steve Ballmer there. Microsoft managed to maintain its position as the leader in both the business computer and personal computer industries, despite some reservations over Ballmer's competence. The business division of Microsoft was responsible for the majority of the company's revenue and significant competitive advantages. Although the corporation acknowledged that it had a significant position in consumer sectors, despite the rapid advancement of technology. In January 1975, the profitable transaction involving Altair served as the impetus for Bill Gates and Paul Allen to create Microsoft. In all, their sales for the year 1975 came to $16,000. The breakthrough year for Microsoft was 1980, when the company created a collaboration with IBM. As a consequence of this agreement, Microsoft was able to provide IBM PCs with an essential operating system called DOS. This meant that Microsoft received a royalty payment for every IBM computer that was sold. With the release of Windows 3.0 in 1990, Bill Gates demonstrated his vision for Microsoft's future. At this point, 60 million copies of Windows had been sold, which essentially made Microsoft the only guardian of the PC software standard. Before 1990, the majority of Microsoft's business was spent as a supplier to various hardware manufacturers. That was the demographic they wanted to appeal to. The majority of Microsoft's income was produced by sales to individual customers as a direct result of the proliferation of personal computers and other technological advances. It was the first software business in history to earn sales of $1 billion. Microsoft has been able to grab a bigger market share of the world's personal computers, about 90%, as more and more versions of Microsoft Windows have been released. As part of Project Longhorn, which began in 2001, several of Microsoft's older operating systems, beginning with Vista, were upgraded or replaced. In 2007, Windows Vista became the dominant operating system once it was made available to the general public. There were various variations of Windows Vista available, including Home, Basic or Premium, Ultimate, Business, and a great many more to meet the needs of a diverse range of customers. Customers who were most important to Microsoft, the corporate market, favored Windows XP because it was quick, reliable, and a trustworthy operating system. Windows 7, which was introduced in 2009 to succeed Vista, helped Microsoft maintain its dominant position in the software industry. This was then followed by the introduction of Windows 8 in October 2012, which included significant improvements to its operating system platform, as well as its user interface to enhance the user experience on tablets. Since then, in October 2013, Microsoft introduced Windows 8.1, which had several further enhancements. Additionally, Microsoft forayed into the gaming industry as well as the mobile phone industry, where it was able to successfully capture a sizable market share. 
numerous vendors, including HTC, Samsung, and LG, all employ Windows Mobile as their mobile operating system. Following the launch of the Xbox in 2001, Microsoft announced Xbox Live the following year in 2002. Due to the overwhelming success of both releases, Microsoft is now in the number two position in the video game business. The Xbox 360 was a fairly powerful gaming system when it debuted in 2005, despite having heavy competition at the time. As a result of the increased level of competition in the industry, Microsoft was forced to reduce the pricing of its gaming consoles. The strategy proved fruitful, as seen by the dominance of the Xbox 360 as the gaming console of choice in American households. The purchase of Skype by Microsoft in 2011 for a price of $8.5 billion was the company's biggest acquisition to that point in its history. To better compete with Apple's FaceTime and Google's Voice, Microsoft decided to buy Skype. Skype was going to be integrated with several Microsoft products including Outlook, Xbox, and Windows cell phones. Recent developments at Microsoft include the company's entry into cloud computing through the Windows Azure platform, which was first introduced in 2008. Customers can develop their computer infrastructure in the cloud using the Windows Azure platform and then provide it to other customers. Office 365, a cloud-based version of Microsoft's Office Business Software Suite, was made available to consumers in 2011. This edition contained popular programs including Word and Excel. Another popular product, SQL Server 2012 from Microsoft, had several improvements over earlier versions of this software. Always On was a part of this, and it offered choices to make the database more accessible while also making cloud setup easier and increasing its compatibility. Enhancements were also made to both the performance and the programmability of its features. DSP Explorer offers support for all versions of Microsoft SQL servers as well as all of its capabilities, and it can run on a broad number of Windows systems. Cloud computing is experiencing a boom right now, and Microsoft isn't the only company that's feeling its effects. Most analysts think that this trend will become more essential to the bottom lines of computer giants as more businesses finish their digital transformations. According to a survey published by City Research, Amazon Web Services is expected to have a cloud income of $44 billion soon, in comparison to $19 billion in cloud revenue generated by Microsoft and $17 billion by the Google Cloud Platform. According to experts, Microsoft has a significant edge over the other two of the world's most valuable firms, which both have a variety of cloud situations that are powering their development and are themselves among the most valuable corporations in the world. It is mostly a software firm, but they also produce consumer electronics. Amazon's a one-stop shop that also operates well in the cloud computing industry, and Apple's known for its consumer electronics, and the company now offers a consumer cloud service. According to Patrick Moorhead, principal analyst at Moore Insights and Strategy, Microsoft's moment of glory, which could very well happen again, is the result of the consistency of its services, whereas other technology stocks have taken a hit for some reason or another. And that's going to do it for today's video, friends. Please let us know in the comment box what inspires you the most about this company. And like and share our video with our friends. And please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.